Hey there everyone, it's Peter here from the Joomla Beat podcast and this video clip I am recording here is a little overview of this latest module here. It's called Latest News Timeline which Martina found in the office and I'm just going to give it a really quick review and overview of how it works. Essentially it is a really nice vertical way of showing articles that have been added into a particular category and have been filtered out by this module. So if we have a look at the demo page here which I have loaded up, I can see a couple of timeline items here. So I have a timeline which goes down the center of the page and on either side in chronological order, that's the order by date, I can see articles and their publishing dates across the top. So as I scroll down I can see more and more articles and it's a really nice visual way of displaying blog articles, news articles or events in a vertical and visual representation. So if I click on view more posts here it should load up a couple more items. Yep, there it goes. I'll scroll down and it a, has a lazy load effect so all these images load only on my request. So I've pulled them down and the internet is very slow today. But I can see more and more images appear and more and more articles that uh, appear under that. So I'm just going to click on this one here, the Star Wars game, which I am enjoying very much on the iPhone at the moment. I'll click on that and that should take me to the full article view of that particular particular article that I just clicked on. So I'll just go back and I'll go back to that view. So it's a really nice, quick, easy way to display articles in a more creative fashion. Now, we mentioned this on the episode 72 of the Joomla Beat podcast and you can listen to what Martina thought about this particular module and how it could be used. Now I'll just go up to this tab here and this is the Perfect Web Team over in the Netherlands. So perfectwebteam.nl and Sander and a whole bunch of other guys actually form this team and they're, they're, they're some really cool Joomla guys. And we can see how they have implemented something very similar. I don't think they're using the same module but you can see how it is represented here. They have their Oh, maybe I'll translate this so I can actually see and understand what they're writing. It's all in Dutch. Yeah, okay. Google didn't successfully translate. Got to love these these automated translations. Okay, that kind of worked. Okay, so what we're doing and it gives a little overview of what what they're up to. So uh, expert session Joomla usability on Friday, October twenty fourth. So this is cool. It's giving um a news blog post that Sanders writing so this one also has the uh, avatar of the author so I'm sure if I keep going down I might see some other authors here no just Sander oh there's Martin and Sander again okay and again here we can click on read more blog posts and it will take me or, or see more work let's have a look at their work I believe their work is also set out in a very similar vertical timeline there we go and we can see the release dates of these particular projects and it's a nice, really, really nice visual representation and a nice way of displaying displaying a portfolio via a timeline. And you can do that all via this latest news timeline module and I recommend having a little play with that and let me know what you think. Leave a comment in the show notes. Uh, the YouTube video here or back on the Joomla Beat site at joomlabe.at. Thanks, guys.